In this video, we're gonna learn that how to set up a new user in Sage 50 accounting. For that, you need to click on the Maintain tab. In the Maintain tab, we have this user, and here we have the second option that is Setup Security. Click it, and you need to create a new user here. That will be the admin first. So that is the admin and you need to enter a unique password. Click on the save. When you click on the save, here the username, the admin is created and he has the, all that access of all the areas. He, he is the admin right now. But I, I have another employee. So I want to create a new user ID with limited access. So click on this new users. Here you need to give the uh, the employee name. And here you need to give a unique password. Now, what type of access does this user need? You want to make him an administrator, full access plus the ability to create a new user. Or you want to give only the full access or the selected access or none so i want to give a role for the receivable only that he controls only the customer because i have another employee who have the access of the payable only he's our payable accountant so click on this selected access click on next and here you need to define the role you need to give that access so first we have this business status that you want to give him full access of the business status no i don't want to do that so click on this no access then because this employee is our receivable accountant so in the customers and sales tab if you click this option here we have like full access right now so no i don't want to give him full access but in certain area like in the maintain you can create customer information the customer credit card information or the opening balances so in the maintain uh, in the maintenance what I will do that he can view only he can add added or full access so I, I will give him the add only that he can add the things he can add the customer information customer credit card information so you want to give him access or no so i don't want to give him the access for this then customer beginning balances yes he can enter the beginning balances then in the task what you want to do that he can create the codes yes he can create the codes so in that uh, no access in the task no access you can select the add and here we have this the codes Yes, he can add the codes, he can create the sale orders, he can receive the money, he can make invoices, the credit memo, and that is the credit card information. And then we have the reports. So, yes, I want to give him full access of the reports because uh, me as a manager, I want the reports from him. So, I'm going to give him the full access. So these are the forms like uh, like he can uh, create his own forms or or the reports design the forms and then these are the right letters that he can write letters to the the customer yes because he's our receivable accountant so I want to give him a full access so similarly you can add the access if you have a payable accountant you can customize these access option similarly we have inventory and services uh, you can give that access that is for employee that is for the banking and that is related with the company uh, different other reports are there so basically this uh, user that is uh, only related with the receivable so he is our receivable accountant so i am giving only the customized access for or uh, to this user id only for the customers and then you can click this save icon to save the user so the second user is uh, created with selected area so similarly you can click this new user again you can give that username and password uh, select this option selected access click next and uh, then you need to give the same 
uh, that the rural access for like you want to give him the payable access for the inventory for the banking for the payroll so that depends on the you so this is how we will maintain uh, that uh, the users in stage 50 accounting hopefully you guys under understand this that how to create user and the user security that uh, limitation in stage 50